welcome new year nines to Corp Hill School. Today I'm going to do a quick tour of the school while there is nobody here so we can get to see all the secret places that you don't normally get to see. So come with me. Through the door. This is our main reception. This is where most people come into the school. Uh, there are some lovely ladies, Catherine and Faye, who work in there, who will help you with any of the needs that you may have. Right, if we come around here, this is our site manager. He's just wandered up over there, Paul. He's amazing, keeping us all going and keeping the environment and the building safe and secure and happy and healthy for us all to be in. In here is where you'll come on your first day. This is the main hall. At the moment, it's set up for the exams for year 10 and year 12. We've been working really hard to make sure that we can see where they're up to and what help we need to give them to improve and get better in the future. So this is where you'll sit and as you can see around the sides of the hall are the tutor names so you'll know where to sit in your tutor groups so you can listen to things like assemblies or notices, things like that. So if we come out this side of the school hall, this is the PE area. So we have the two different changing rooms and all the way down at the bottom here we have the sports hall. Again at the moment that is set up for exams there's a really big space, we do basketball, netball, gym stuff, dodgeball, all sorts of things take place in the sports hall. We also have a physio room should we need any physiotherapy. Now it might be locked, but we might be lucky. Excellent. But right, here we go, as you can see, very echoey and a nice big space uh, for you to have lots and lots of fun in. Okay, let's go. Essentially, the school is a big box, so if you keep going in one direction, you'll get yourself back to the big thing. Student entrances tend to be from these sorts of places here, so all along there are student entrances for you to come into. You'll each, be, uh, each will be assigned a locker when you get here. They look something like this. There are newer ones. Um, and this will be where you keep all of your belongings for the day. You can go back to them at break and lunch to make sure you're prepared and you've got everything that you'll need for your lessons or your learning. Now over here we have the music department where the amazing Miss Inskip works her magic and makes you all fantastic musicians. We won't go in there but we'll have a little peek through the window. We've got all sorts of things in there like drums and pianos that could do with a bit of a dust. Um, so that's where you will do your music lessons. We're really lucky that the gate's open for us. You can see we have the tennis courts and we have what's called the red grass area. Now, I don't really know what the red grass area is, but we line up there for fire, fire drills and things like that. So, and then all the way down there, you can see part of our amazing field. We have a huge field that students like to use for football and games during break and lunch time and obviously a lot of our PE lessons take place there. Now over here, you can see this big long building. So you can see Mr. Harris, who's head of year 10 in one of them. And those are our maths classrooms. We call it Math Street. And that's where all the magic of numbers happens, learning all about fractions and quadratic equations. So lots and lots of fun to be had in those classrooms. As you can see, when you line up here for fire drill, You'll be lining up in your houses as well as your tutor groups. So we've got Kimmeridge House, Lulworth House and Sandbanks House. We're going to walk around here and show you the science buildings next. One thing you do have to be careful about on the field at lunchtime are the amount of seagulls. I think you can see some of them now all lying around there. They are always here. We normally get quite a lot at lunchtime. Desperate to eat your beautiful prepared homemade lunches that mother or father have lovingly made you and they'll swoop down and snatch it. So you do have to watch out for them. Right, in the distance, you can see some lovely mobile classrooms. We're calling those the teapods apparently at the moment. Now they are in place because a good portion of our school is being rebuilt. So the classrooms are better, lighter area for you guys to study in. So this year, I think they're going to be English. So English classrooms will be based um, in those teapots over there. We're going to go this way. And we're going to go through the science classrooms now. Then I'm going to take you to tech. So, 
This is the other side of Math Street, as you can see. Lovely big classrooms, very light and airy, and hopefully the new bit of the school that they're doing will be just as lovely. So, through here, and again, we're so early that we might have to unlock, but maybe oh, Paul, the site manager, has been amazing. He's got everything done for us. So this is the science labs. Now, science labs have to be really large um, because they need a lot of space in order for the experiments that they do to take place in. So we have to make sure that we have a lot of space for science labs. All these classrooms, because they've got specialist equipment in, gas, things like that, have to be locked at all times. So let's have a little look in here. This is one example of our science labs. Everything we will need to be amazing scientists and to challenge Mary Curie and Louis Pasteur in their search for knowledge. Okay, let me lock that then, so that I'm doing the right thing and not getting anybody hurt. Right, now then, all the way down here, all the way down there, lots and lots of the space is all science labs. So let's see if we can go to technology. Once you've seen one science lab, you've seen them all, I reckon. Can I get in here? No! So we're going to have to go this way to get in. Which is not a problem. Let's go through the door. Let's see if this fits. So this is where we do things like engineering, product design, graphics, art, textiles, food, nutrition, hospitality and catering all happens in this part of the school. So as you can see, we're all set up for woodwork, working with acrylics. We have all sorts of equipment that I have no idea what it does. So we've got the power drill over there, we've got belt sanders, sort of a bit dark. My favourite bit of the school where we have the 3D printers. We have all of these amazing things, which I think are lathes. Lots and lots for you to get your hands on, to learn some real skills in creating products, um, which is a wonderful thing to do. Now through here, we have a greenhouse that's not currently used. So I'm very, very keen for you guys coming up to see if we can re revitalize and reuse this area. Because it's such a wonderful thing to have. It's such a waste that we're not using it. So hopefully we'll be able to help nature with that. Now through here, we're back in the science labs. So we'll go around here and I'll show you where catering is. Round and round and round we go. All this heavy rain has meant that we've had a few leaks, so that's all been sorted. So that's why we put all these sandbanks on the floor. Right, let's have a look through here. Here we go, this is Food Tech. Now, Hang on a second. Uh, <laughs> so this is food tech. So we have traditional looking food tech classrooms that look like this. Standard food tech classrooms. Everything that you'd need, all nice and clean. But we also, because we offer hospitality, hospitality and catering, as well as food nutrition, it's important that students are using a kitchen that they may use in a professional environment. So we also have this classroom. Because of the sort of equipment that's in there, we have to make sure these places are locked because there's lots of dangerous equipment. But here we go. This is climate controlled, professional stainless steel kitchen, which allows students to get a real sense of what it is to work in a real kitchen environment. This is a great, great thing that we have here. Now going forward this way, we will go through to textiles and we'll get to art. So let's go through. Here we go, the wonderful calm environment of textiles. Always beautiful and relaxing in here and some fantastic work being made all the way from year nine up to year 13. They have two different classrooms. This is the largest of them. Now through here, we have the art department, art and photography I should say, because this is where some of the photography work happens and this is its very own dark room, which we won't go into because we won't see very much, um, but they get to do proper 
um, photography uh, and making of the pictures from there. Now art costumes are here, graphics are over there and as you can see that's the other side of Math Street. So we're always coming back around in that square to where we started. So we'll go through here where Mr Pollard has been setting up an art display. So this is our cartoon, lovely displays that are being made. This is the wonderful Mr Hardy and this is our fantastic Hello. covers officer, uh, Mr Marsh. Um, we're having a chat so we'll leave them to it. But we'll keep going this way. Here we go. More art on the walls. Uh, we have drama offices here, drama classrooms. I'll just show you one of those. Which is this way. One thing that we do do is murals. So we try to think about what we're learning for the whole school. And then we try to represent that in different areas of the school. So we've got these lovely artworks that are starting to take place. And we're hoping to build more and more of those um, as the years continue. And in here, we have one of our drama studios. It might be a bit dark. Let's see if we can get some lights on. So as you can see, all of our drama spaces are fully rigged out with lighting rigs so that we can have actual studios and actual performances in here, which is fabulous. And if you remember the hall, which I showed you, which has got all of the exam desks in it at the moment, but where we'll be having assemblies, we can access it through these magical doors here. So these can all open and we can extend the space into that. Okay, let's go have a look at where the six formers work very busily on their own individual studies. So back through to reception. I'm very worried about cameraman Tom who's walking backwards, so hopefully he'll be all right. <laughs> Watch out! No, no, it's fine. So one thing I should show you before we go over to the LRC is this part of the school. So this part of the school is where all the important people live. So the head teacher, Mr Sankey, the deputy head, Mrs Jones, uh, the assistant heads, Mr Hardy, and Miss King all live down there. So it's a very serious part of the school. So we'll leave them to their busy, exciting work. And then we're going to go this way to two very important areas. Well, two very important areas to me, anyway. Number one, canteen, amazing food, pastry to die for. So we need to know where that is. That's there. So now that Tom is showing you the food, <laughs> which made me happy, this is what we call the LRC, the Learning Resource Centre. This is predominantly where six formers come to study. As you can see, fully kitted out with lots of private workspace, lots of computers for them to access. But really importantly for us, there's loads and loads of books. So loads of books for you to take out and read, fiction books, non-fiction books, and books that will extend your knowledge about the subjects that you're learning. So it's a really great resource that I think sometimes students don't use as much as they should. So do make sure that you're aware of what goes on in here. Lots of fiction, lots of non-fiction, and also lots of books that are related to your studies so that you can learn more about things. Okay, let's get out of here. We're nearly finished with the tour. I'll just point out the canteen yet again. There it is. <laughs> now, down here, we have modern foreign languages classrooms, we have the staff communication centre where we can put um, notes for ourselves. Um, this is the life centre, this is where Miss Kerr, one of our school counsellors, will be working, um, delivering sessions on ELSA uh, and offering support to students that are struggling with things like anxiety or depression. Okay, now down here we have a few more science classrooms as I've said, modern foreign languages classrooms and then, as we can see, another student entrance so this is again where students can come in or leave at the end of the day. Now this is where we would have the end of the school, but as we can see there's a notice there that says out of bounds to students. That's where the building work is going to be taking place. So I'll very quickly show you how we will get to those teapots, those mobile classrooms that we saw early on. So we're heading back towards science here. If you remember, catering is going to turn up on the right, but we're going to go left. And we're going to head back round outside the school towards the field. Let's have a look through here. Oh, there we go. Got my Pardon? Got my <laughs> so these are areas where students can sit and relax at lunchtime, uh, enjoy some fine weather hopefully. Now ahead of us we have the old English block which is not in use at the moment but coming around to the side it's an exciting time for you to be here, actually, with all this work going on. We have the magnificent teapots, okay? These wonderful mobile classrooms. 
which actually are really lovely inside, really big, really spacious. Hopefully we'll be able to have a quick look inside. And then if we were to carry on going straight down here, we would get back round to the field. As I've said, big square that we just keep walking around. So it feels big, it feels scary, but actually it's not that, that scary at all. And it's fairly easy to work our way around as we get used to the place. So up here, we have got our classrooms that are brand new and are set up for students for learning. So I just grab the light. There we go. Nice space. And I believe this will be English uh, classrooms in the uh, autumn term. 2021. Right, that concludes our tour. Um, so hopefully you've got to see some of the classrooms, you've got to see some of the layout, you've seen where some of the key people are in the school and you know which door to come into, that main reception door when you first turn in and then it's very very easily just ahead of you is the main hall where you'll have your assembly. After that there'll be people to help you and guide you to where you need to go. So we really look forward to seeing you in September and have a lovely lovely summer.